the shop today and I'm turning some pieces for a friend of mine. Uh, he asked me if I could turn some of these for him. Uh, so this is what we've got today. And uh, this is a pretty interesting little project because uh, it involves uh, some grooving, some threading, uh, some parting, and some profiling. Now, these are 8 30 seconds threads and I haven't turned any 8 30 second threads before so it's been uh, a little bit challenging getting this set up um, because this is aluminum it wants to flex on you if you try to take too deep of a cut but I was able to uh, get it worked out I just had to take uh, quite a bit more passes than I would like to but uh, it turned out so yeah it looks really good um, another thing that I am doing for the first time is a while back it's probably been oh year year and a half maybe uh, fusion came out with uh, for the turning cam operations they came out with a uh, feature called pecking well let's go into fusion 360 and I'll show you this pecking feature hey guys well here we are in fusion 360 and I wanted to show you this pecking feature now this I noticed this about it came in an update maybe 18 months two years ago and I never tried it because I haven't really machined anything new the parts that I normally run on the G0602 I've been running in similar the same parts for quite a long time and so I've already got all that g-code figured out but I still have issues with long uh, strings of swarf uh, I've been wanting to try this new pecking feature so here it is you just check this box here and you can see that the pecking feature what it does is it will go across the profile and stop and back up to break off that chip at user defined increments so you can see here that I've got it set up for uh, 80 thousandths so it'll go 80 thousandths then back up 20 thousandths and then continue on uh, it works really well uh, as you can see in the video footage so it's a really good feature especially for uh, this particular machine a lot of these hobby CNC's are a little underpowered uh, I will be doing a motor upgrade here shortly. I'm going to be adding a marathon motor to this machine, hopefully, and that will solve this problem and I won't have to worry about it too much. I'm not able to take deep enough cuts to get into the uh, chip breaker on the tool, apparently. I'm taking a 40 thousandths, which is uh, 20 thousandths per side, but apparently uh, that's still not quite enough to uh, break the chip off. But that's a nice little feature in Fusion 360, and I thought I would just kind of uh, uh, show that to you. Especially for uh, machines like this where you can't really take huge cuts. Let me show you what we've got. So what happens is, as the tool comes across, it'll go a certain distance, uh, which is usually defined and then it'll back up slightly to break the chip off. When I first started, uh, I started out with about a half inch distance. So it would go a half inch and then break it off. Well, I'm getting strings that are oh, a foot long and I'm taking uh, 20 thousandths per side, so 40 thousandths total uh, depth of cut. And I was getting strings that were about 12 inches and then I backed it down to about a quarter inch and I'm getting six to eight inch chips and then I went to uh, an eighth of an inch and then finally this is eighty thousandths so I'm going eighty thousandths and then it breaks off me a nice uh, little three three inch chip here which is a lot manageable in this enclosure so that it'll fall down and they don't build up all around the chuck and then want to start wrapping around it so uh, I've got the part dialed in and uh, so let's show you what we got so we're 
going to turn this. See if I can get a good shot of that. Oh, let me get the camera. There we go. All right, maybe you can see that there. All right, so let's uh, let's turn this. so you can kind of see how that pecking works. Uh, it's a really nice feature for these small machines uh, that aren't really going to be taking huge cuts, but you can see the chips are a lot more manageable now and, and, and they can go down to the bottom and get out of my way, which is the main thing. So now we're going to we're going to just cut three little grooves on the shaft here and this tool this groove is um, 15 thousandths so I had to cut grind grind myself a tool here to do this I just used a, a parting blade but all right let me see if I can wipe that off get a clear window This operation happens pretty quick. As you can see. All right, next we're going to be doing some threading. Next, we're going to be parting.
would just loosen the chuck up, slide it over, and I've got it set to go back to the right distance so I can just clamp another piece in. And now we're ready to go for the next part. So let's see what we've got here. Really nice. All right, guys. Well, I guess that wraps up this video. If you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, you like the video content, click on the subscribe button. That way when I post a new video, you'll be notified. And if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to make suggestions, ask questions, and leave comments. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.